Attention. All right, good evening, everybody. Good evening. My name is Leroy, and I'm here to try to talk to you guys about the spoken word. And the thing about the spoken word, what I want to do is just give you a history of how I got to where I am. There was, there was a young man that stood before his mother, and he said to her, I'm almost where I need to be. I just need you to stay strong for me. With the look in her eyes with pure surprise and a whole lot of joy, my mother said, I love you, son, and this much you can know for sure. I walked to my car and I got inside because I had such a long, long ride. And in this car, I said to myself that one of these days I'm going to stop working a dead-end job and spend more time with the lady that birthed me. So I took this journey back to the place that I needed to be. A few days later, my mother passed away and my life changed tremendously. So I want to say to you guys, how many of you have ever made a promise to your mom or your dad or your family and it was something that you had to stick to? Raise your hand. Okay, how many of you made a promise to your family that you didn't fulfill? Raise your hand. Cool. Me, when my mother passed away, I was left in a maze and I was kind of confused and my mind was in a haze. And my fury and my anger came out and I lashed out at God. I said, God, but why me? This is the woman that made me and gave me my reality. So I said to God one day, like I said to you, I looked up to the heavens and I said, God, if you do not help me on this day, I don't think I'm going to make it. And I think your son is going to end up in the shade. And as quickly as I can say that, God said to me, sit down and write. So how many of you here have ever had inspirational moments where you needed to clear your brain of frustration and anger and happiness and joy? Raise your hand. So when I sat down, here's what happened. The very first prose that I wrote started off like this. It says, here we go, right at the beginning, where all things seem to want to end. Here we go, never looking and listening to the sun, the rain, the clouds, and all things natural. When I started that journey, ladies and gentlemen, I started a journey that I call A, A, and E. And A, A, and E simply means to acknowledge, affirm, and execute. So please, please say this with me. Acknowledge, affirm, execute. Thank you. Now I'm going to break this down for you. Acknowledgement at this time for me, ladies and gentlemen, is something I'm going to try to explain to you. How many of you have thoughts running through your mind every single day? Every single day. How many of you write those thoughts down every single day? If, the thought, if those thoughts are still resonant in your mind, that means that you need to write them down. So acknowledgement simply means that if you have a dream, if you have a thought, if you have something that you want to do, you got to what? Write it down. When you write it down, you acknowledge it. When you go to the acknowledgement state and you got everything down like it should be, the next stage is called affirmation. Please say affirm for me. Affirm. You know what affirm is? Affirm now simply means that what you're going to do, you're going to take everything, every thought that you have, and you're going to write it down. Say it with me, write it down. Write it down. Now, let me tell you, what, what happens when you write something down, ladies and gentlemen? Remember it. You remember it. But here's the dangerous part and the most inspiring part. You take it out of your mind. When you take it out of your mind, it no longer stays there. Now it's on paper. Now you see action. Now you see clarity. Now you can see your mind beginning to work. Now what you do in the affirmation state is you write down what you think your dream should be, what you think your goal should be, and you approach it this way. Number one, my goal is to, hey, I won't give it to you, I'll let you fill it in. Number two, my goal is this. Number three, my goal is this. Does anybody understand that? So if your goal is to walk to the mall and you sit in that chair all day and you haven't walked to the mall, have you been enough firm? Because you're still still. If your goal is to say, I want to stand up one day and speak to a thousand people and you still sit in that chair, have you done that? Fear the fear and do it anyway. So when you get to the affirmation state, what you simply say to yourself today is, whatever I write down, that's what I'm going to do. The last and final state, ladies and gentlemen, is the most important one. Execution. So I repeat after me, execution. execution. Does anybody know what execution means? Yeah. 
Execution now means that you took the thought out of your mind, you put the thought on paper, now the next thing you gotta do is get out of that chair. So execution is what? Somebody say it. Action. Action. So when you take action on your life, are you not changing the dimension of your mind? Action simply means that Mama, I'm in the first grade. I'm going to work hard to get to the second grade. Mama, I'm, I don't want to play football right now, but I'll try basketball. Mom, I'm going to work harder now because now I want to read and write better. And to us adults, it's like, how can I make my child more wise? How can I set a goal that my child can see every day, that my child will want to implement simply because they see me execute? When you execute, you change the dimension of your life. Say it with me, everybody. When you execute, you change the dimensions of your life. Simple like this. You're in this room now, right, because of a thought. You say to yourself, on this day, I'm going to cut this, Af this African American festival event, right? You said it, you put your clothes on, you got your car, you walk, and now you are wherever you are in this area because you executed. Now, the same principle applies, ladies and gentlemen. When you have a huge dream, but it just doesn't come as easy as walking to the store. It requires a lot of hard work and effort. So when I came up with the writings that I have, ladies and gentlemen, it was because I tried to see what my mother's life meant to me. Does your life mean anything to you? Does it mean something next to the person to you? To your, does it mean anything to your family? Then that's why you have to acknowledge, say it again, acknowledge. Affirm. affirm, execute. execute. When you do this, your dreams will come true. My reason for saying that to you lovely people today is when I started writing and God told me to write what I needed to write, there was nobody in my life to say to me, publish this. There was nobody in my life to say that this means something. But what I did is, I said to myself, if I can find someone on this planet that can help me, I will publish this. And I publish this because of my mom. I publish this because if I die today, when somebody picked up this, when they open up this, they can see, acknowledge, affirm, and execute. But in the inside, you'll see a love for his mother, a love for his family. A love for the human family. A love for dreams. A love for dreams that I did not accomplish. A love for dreams that I thought I had. And the reason I say that, these are dreams of mine because I had goals of taking care of my mother. How many of you young people here want to take care of your mother? Raise your hand. How do you do it? How do you do it? You execute. When you do that, ladies and gentlemen, your life changes, I promise you this. Any goal that you write down today, I don't care if it's a goal that's 30 years, 20 years, 10 minutes, or whatever. Whatever you write down today, say to yourself, no matter how long it takes, say it with me, everybody, no matter how long it takes, or even if I'm in my grave, I'm going to leave something back so somebody know I have something to say. And when you accomplish your dream like anybody else in this world, you can get up and say whatever you need to say because you have lived in action. If you're in action, you can't tell nobody about a dream. But if you commit in action, you can tell anybody about that dream. Why? Because you walk it. And when you walk it, you have an experience. And when you have an experience, you can share that with the world. When you share that with the world, you begin to see that the person sitting next to you and the person in the very corner or the person by the tree, everybody is just like me. Thoughts change the world. Martin Luther King changed the world with a thought. I have a dream. Dr. Napoleon changed the world with a thought. He won't think and grow rich. You can change your thoughts today if you choose to make it so and make it that way. And before I leave, ladies and gentlemen, before I leave, I just want to say this. I want you to repeat after me this verse that I wrote, and I hope that you use it. And I just want you guys to know that if you want to know about this work, I'm going to leave some cards for Rose so you can kind of see the journey that I take. And in these books, I want to say to you that if you read them, 
If you invest in them, I promise you, you will see a reflection of yourself inside. So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to repeat after me. Say, life, life does not require, does not require less, of me. less of me. Life, life does, not require does not require more of me. More of me. Life, life only requires, requires that I wake up and I maximize my 24 hours each and every day. When you do this, your life, when you do this, my life will be changed. Say it one more time. My life will be changed forever. And when I leave, the world will know that I walk this earth and it will be for the betterment of my family, my community, and humanity. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Leroy Fleming. I thank you all for taking the time out to listen to me. I hope that what I say added some value because to be in front of each and every one of you, you have given me value. So I want to say thank you guys and enjoy the rest of the festival and I appreciate everything you do. Thank you very much.